everyone, how's it going? I'm Casey Martin from Wine Country Pens and Wine Country Woodworks, and this is going to be a video of me making some pen blanks out of shredded money and gold leaf, which you can see right there. The shredded money actually comes from the Federal Federal Reserve, so it's not like obviously a felony or anything for like shredding and burning money normally would be, <laughs> but they actually sell sh bags of the shredded money online and they're basically notes or you know dollar bills of any denomination that are messed that are messed up in the printing process basically you know they have some type of error on them that makes them invalid to use and so what the federal reserve does is obviously shreds them and then sells them to people who do things like this use them for arts and crafts and so my plan for these pen blanks is to use completely clear resin. I feel like that would show off the shredded money the most and as well as the gold leaf. So that's what I do. And so I'm mixing up my Illumilite resin first. And then once I'm done with that, I actually end up having not enough resin. So then I add more, but since it's, pr since it's clear, it's pretty easy and straightforward to, to deal with. But I am really happy with how clear they end up looking. I'm always so impressed by how clear Illumilite is when it's put under pressure in a pressure pot. I mean, I know Illumilite on their website claims that it's optically graded, which means that it's clear enough to be used for glasses, which is just mind boggling. But anyway, you guys will stick around and wait till the end and you'll see what I'm talking about. So now that I weighed out the resin by weight, I mix it up. And once it's completely mixed up, I don't see any cloudiness, any striations, which basically means like any more lines when I mix it around, then I know it should be perfectly clear when it cures. <clears throat> so what I do, especially with this one, and I, I do it with all of them, but I made sure that it was absolutely perfect because when you add dye, you get to stir it a second time and obviously since I'm not adding any dye I just wanted to make sure I stirred it enough so I'm doing that and then like I said earlier in this video I end up not using enough resin it's really hard to gauge how much resin to use with something like this especially because this was my second time ever casting shredded money that it you know it just soaks it up so it's kind of hard to gauge but that's what I'm doing right now and I'll come back in a bit when it comes out of the pressure pot So here I am just adding in the last bit of resin to just make sure that it was going to be enough. I put this in my pressure in my biggest pressure pot up to 80 PSI. Really don't know how much of the difference between 45 and 80 makes, but since I was going for crystal clear, I wanted to use what I could. And this is what it looks like when it comes out of the mold. It's just so incredible in person. Hopefully the camera can kind of capture how clear and deep it is, but you can read the little shreds. You can read the numbers. You can read anything you want, really, which is just amazing. So I cut them on the table saw to size, and then after they are all cut, I'll do a little close-up, and I'll wipe them down with some denatured alcohol so you guys can see how they really look. So here they all are cut up. It's really hard to show 
how clear they really are. So I try to use a denatured alcohol because once they're cut on the table saw, they are incredibly smooth, but you're really only going to see the crystal clear that it's capable of once they're finished and you use a CA finish or a wax finish, something that makes it look constantly wet. That is the side of a pen blank that I just showed you that was on the bottom of the mold, so it never got affected by the table saw with a cut. And hopefully you guys can really see when I when I wipe it down how clear it's going to be. And I just love the way the little pieces of gold leaf come out in this. It, I just think it looks so cool. Let me know what you all think down below about that. And if you have any other ideas that I could do with shredded money, I know I've seen before some red dye so that people call it blood money or, or something funny like that. But uh, I think it came out really cool. I'm really happy with how it looks. I wish some of the gold leaf was pushed down more and not cut off, but there's a little close up on how cool it's going to look. I think it'll make a cool letter opener or a pen. So let me know what you guys think I should make. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't. Take it easy, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.